Hi, welcome back. I'm speaking up a little bit because the camera's a little bit far away. Camera over here. Uh, a bit of wind today. I've only got wind reduction on. Anyway, straight to the point. What are we going to do today? We're going to take some willow cuttings and we're going to plant them. And hopefully they will take and we will have new willow trees. So if you want to see my process of doing this, stick around. Okay. What do you need uh, uh, to make uh, willow cuttings? Well, obviously you need willow. We don't have it here right at the moment. Uh, we'll go get some. Um, I need, uh, well, it depends on the size I'm going to cut. Usually I'm going to go for about pinky size, but I might need to cut a bit bigger to get to the pinky size. So a pair of loppers, a pair of uh, secateurs, uh, a knife in this case I'm using my uh, Mora Eldris my little neck knife my little survival knife uh, it's just all I need just a small blade what I need to uh, to, to, to make the process uh, I need what I call a podger something to make holes in the in the ground to push the the cuttings into uh, optional is a knee pad when you're at my age you find that uh, when you've got bony old knackered knees like I have a knee pad is useful and uh, a watering can with some water in it to water them in. We'll have a, a pond over there, so I'm not far away from water. So without further, further ado, I'm gonna fade out. We're gonna move over to the willow tree, the donut tree that I'm gonna use, and let's have a look, see what we got over there. Over and out for now. So this is the tree. You might recall when we were making the uh, Back to Eden, Ruth Stoats garden just still working with um, we cut or Timo cut the main tree here because I said there's a future plan to have a greenhouse and it blocked light basically it was in the way so we cut it and uh, it just you know it was uh, dying anyway but since we cut it you know it's just become uh, a very healthy bush this is what happens willow is uh, that's just me bending over um, this is what happens with willow or can happen with willow if you're lucky. So I'm basically looking at uh, something like this. I'll take from about here on two of them. That should give me enough. Uh, and uh, I'm looking for ants already. I'm looking for relatively new growth, definitely green not uh, brown old stuff i'm looking for green you see that's the original stump that uh, when we cut it or timo cut it and it just you know decided that uh, okay i'm not going to die i'm going to become a bush well uh, this is the whole point that uh, you know everybody in their life should plant a tree and I'm hoping to plant uh, quite a few trees. I might take some of this as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the camera down because, you know, lopping off, uh, I can't do it with one hand. I don't have, a, again, any head harness, chest harness. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cut it. We're going to go back to where we were, over in the camp area, and uh, let's see what we come up with. Over and out for now. So as you can see, uh, very quickly, got a lot of cuttings. Realize that my uh, loppers are need sharpening because they're not cutting neatly but okay i'm having a look to see what i got here i said about uh, pinky size my pinky size anyway uh i think it's but you know you can even go you have less chance i think with this anyway further ado the willow uh my friend uh Andy Outdoors in the UK recently made a video about the medicinal benefits of uh, willow. Uh, just to repeat, actually, if you take this uh, bark, this green bark uh, off it, and uh, don't put it in boiling water, but put it in uh, hot water, boiled water, it's uh, a chance to cool it a bit, and uh, let it steep, uh, you're going to get uh, I think it's called salicin or something like that. It's uh, what's in aspirin. Don't do it if you're allergic to aspirin. And I can assure you it don't taste very good. Usually people add uh, sugar or honey to sweeten it a bit. But anyway, if you're out 
in the Ulu and you have a throbbing headache, then uh, willow might just be the answer. It's also a great uh, rooting compound. Uh, I use the very small parts in the blender with the leaves and use it as a rooting compound. It's only good for about 24 hours, but even so. That's not the point of today's uh, video. I'm just gonna cut these down now. Oh, they're pretty sharp, at least. Um, now, the ideal length for me is going to be about this length. And what I want to do, there's no uh, nodes, well these are nodes, but they don't look very good. Um, I want to cut it straight off at the bottom. And uh, okay, I'm going to leave that as it is. The idea being flat bottom, uh, 45 degree or 30 degree, whatever angle you want is not important. Then you know which end goes in the ground and which end is at the top. So, uh, I'm not going to, sometimes you can strip off a little bit of bark, there's different, different ways. This is a natural rooting compound in here. So I'm just gonna bodge a hole and shove that in the ground and then tamp it down and water it in. And hopefully it'll root. If it doesn't root, I'm not really lost an awful lot, but you know, that's the way it goes. So let's go for another one. Let's take off these bits on the side let's take that off there cut that at an angle take that off you can use all of these I've had a lot of success with even the smallest ones but they've been been at you know under controlled conditions in pots and whatever whatever so just to remember what I said I'm going to cut it off flat at the bottom and that's already two that can become two trees or two is one one is not it can become nothing uh, what am I doing it for well let's swing you around a little bit let's leave that camera and move on to this one as you can see well the water course used to run here we moved it back over there Willow likes to have its uh, feet wet, as they say, and it's always very damp down here, being a former uh, artificial lake. And uh, the trees are, you know, they're on the way out. They're over 40 years old, 45, sometimes 50. We knocked these uh, posts in. Uh, well, Timo knocked them in with the JCB. Just pushed them in the ground. They're not tantalized, they're untreated. They won't last forever. And as I say, uh, you know, I'm losing every year wood is dying off from disease and age and falling and I need to plant more. So my idea is to plant, you know, yay far, a oh, nice frog jump, yay far from the post. Uh, put a stick in so as a marker because I'm often coming along here with the brush cutter to clear off the electric fencing. Put one perhaps in the middle. So spacing of about every two and a half to three meters. And all the way along this side of the fence, uh, as I say, I'll put a stick there, some kind of a marker, so that when the grass grows back, if I don't, if I'm not on top of it, or somebody else comes with the brush cutter, they don't uh, cut through my uh, my um, willow cuttings. So that's why we're doing it. So, I mean, that's all there is to it, really. You want me to see me stick a hole in the ground and push it in? It's, you know. I mean, let's not just uh, waste uh, YouTube time, your time. That's basically what I'm gonna do. I'll come back in, in a minute, uh, when I've cut them, and uh, we can have a look at that. Over and out for now. So, process those down. I didn't need the knife, actually. It was just a few uh, uh, offshoots, nodes. Uh, you might say, some might say it's best to get a node in the ground. If you have it, I would say, yes, I agree. But if you don't have it, don't worry. Um, as I've said before, in Bulgaria, you know, you can just stick a stick in the ground or place a stick in the ground is a good chance of rooting. So from all that, that's the waste. I can't really do anything with it or I don't want to do anything with it. Uh, and uh, this is the, uh, the pile of sticks that I got. As I say, I cut them flat at the bottom and an angle at the top. So if I should drop them on the deck, 
and they get mixed up I'll know which is the bottom and which is the top they're differing uh, diameters um, one actually got the skin off it by mistake it got caught that actually isn't a problem that sometimes helps so what I want to do now is uh, take the the podging instrument and uh, make a hole and push them in and tamp them down then go back with the watering can and water them in so back in a second over out for now so got a couple of different size uh, podgers actually depending on the thickness so I'm gonna measure you know kind of half the way to the elbow distance from there and uh, the ground is soft so it should yeah and just wiggle it around a little bit in the ideal world it would of course be nice to move the grass but I don't have the time or the inclination so take this one remember my flat is at the bottom I'm just gonna push it in the ground and tamp it in and I'll come back a bit later with the watering can so that's basically guys all I'm gonna do uh, all the way around where I want to go I'm not going to uh, you know film it all and elongate the film longer than it necessary to be that's the process and we'll see as I say we'll wait and see it's suck it and see time so thanks for watching I know this isn't probably the most interesting of subjects but it's something you need to do you know this is uh, if I if they take if they root if the, the pigs can't get at them because they're wrong side the fence the sheep can't get at them unless they break through and they won't get them all um, it's future firewood it's trees for the future it'll give me shade here as well in this uh, lovely little s uh, camping spot I like you know why not just give it a try it's cost me what an hour or two I think it took me longer setting up the bloody cameras than it has done actually doing the process itself but this is YouTube you know if you want to make films it took me like ah forget it he will edit all this crap out so thanks for watching please subscribe you know where the wolf's head is i never do it's down there or down there press that uh, click on that uh, bell for notifications for future videos i'm just looking at the piggy porker's backside over there and uh, see you in the next one be soon over now for now Uh, plenty of cuttings. <clears throat> so as you can hopefully see, <coughs> we got uh, plenty of cuttings. Christ Almighty! <clears throat> Take seventy-five.